In this video, we are going to explore the various different systems that can be used to look into space. The telescope was first discovered by the Dutch. A telescope makes faraway things look bigger and closer. Galileo Galilei was a professor of mathematics in Italy. In 1609, he heard that somebody in Holland had made a telescope and he worked out how to make one for himself. Galileo Galilei's telescope could only see a small part of the sky at a time. Galileo used his telescope to look at the planets in the night sky and he made careful notes of what he saw there. He was the first person to see that Jupiter had moons. He saw that Saturn has rings and he saw that Venus has phases like the moon. He also used his telescope to show people that the Milky Way was really made of billions of stars. He wrote books that taught people about telescopes and what they could show us in the night sky. Nowadays, there are big telescopes in many parts of the world and these telescopes have cameras to photograph the sky. Telescopes have shown us that there are thousands of millions of stars that we could not see with our naked eyes. Some of those stars are so far away that their light has been traveling for millions of years to reach us. The Hubble Space Telescope is the most famous and probably most successful space observatory ever flown. The Hubble Space Telescope is a large telescope in space, which NASA launched in 1990. Circling our planet every 96 minutes, the Hubble Space Telescope has so far traveled around 5 billion kilometers. The Hubble Telescope faces towards space. It takes pictures of planets, stars, and galaxies. Hubble has seen stars being born and has seen stars die. It has seen galaxies that are trillions of kilometers away. Hubble has also seen comet pieces crash into the gases above Jupiter. On a hilltop in a nature reserve in the northern Cape of South Africa, near the small town of Sutherland, is a masterpiece of modern astronomical engineering. The South African Large Telescope is the largest single optical telescope in the Southern Hemisphere and among the largest in the world. It has a hexagonal primary mirror array 11 meters across, which comprises of 91 individual 1 meter hexagonal mirrors, gathering more than 25 times as much light as any existing African telescope Salt can detect objects as faint as a candle flame on the moon. Salt is currently being used to study stars, in particular binary star systems where two stars orbit around each other. Astronomers also use the telescope to study galaxies, as well as some of the most violent explosions in the universe, called supernova and gamma ray bursts, which occur when massive stars explode at the end of their lives. SALT is also looking at the universe on the largest of scales in order to answer the questions about how the universe began and what will happen to it in the future. The Karoo is an ideal place to hold SALT because it is far away from towns and cities so there is very little light pollution. The area is also at a high elevation. It's dry and there are no extreme weather conditions such as flooding or storms. Despite it being so remote, at the observatory site there is good infrastructure, including roads and electricity, in the surrounding area of Sutherland. The Meerkat Radio Telescope Array 
is a radio telescope in the Northern Cape, which has 64 radio dishes, each 13.5 meters in diameter. An array means a large number of the same items. The meerkat array is currently the largest and the most sensitive radio telescope in the Southern Hemisphere. Until the Square Kilometer Array, or SKA, is completed around 2024. The SKA, or the Square Kilometer Array, is a different kind of telescope for looking at the stars. Stars send out energy in light, but also in radio waves. The SKA will receive radio waves that our eyes cannot see. The SKA will have an array of several thousand dishes. When you add together the area of all the dishes, the total area will be the same as one square kilometer. This is why the telescope is called the square kilometer. Its unique configuration will give the SKA unrivaled scope in observations, largely exceeding the image resolution quality of the Hubble Space Telescope. Meerkat and the SKA will be used to investigate how galaxies can change over time, our understanding of gravity, the origin of cosmic magnetism, how the very first stars were formed, other planets around other stars, and whether we are truly alone in the universe. And there you have it. I hope you all enjoyed learning about the various systems that we use to look into space.